Hi, I'm Matt Norton of uh, mattnortonmusic.com. I'm a singer and songwriter and two-time liver transplant survivor. As a young kid of about 12, I felt the calling of God to go into music ministry. And uh, I saw Petra for the first time, one of my favorite bands. And I, when I saw them through that concert, it was uh, I felt the call of God. I knew that that was what I was born to do, lead worship and, and encourage people through music and uh, bring the message of salvation to the lost. When I was dying, literally dying, uh, I could have just said, oh, woe is me, I'm never going to fulfill my calling. But that's not what I chose to do. I chose to praise God in all, all the circumstances. It was through divine appointments that God uh, brought me people. I played for nurses, I brought my guitar in, I went to the chapel and played the piano and uh, saw you know, the love of God shine through all that and, and, and uh, do some pretty neat things. I went through a very dark time coming in to that, that second liver transplant. Uh, the dis blood disorder, TTP, attacked my organs and my brain and I suffered temporary insanity. And uh, kidneys shut down and I didn't hardly recognize myself because I was so swollen. Um, and looking in the mirror, it was just, you know, the confusion, the depression. I mean, I just wanted to die. I wanted to end it all. Just jump out the window and, and be done with life. I, I felt so abandoned. I, I cried out to God. I couldn't feel Him. I, I just, you know, felt like He had left me. Death seems so uninvited, the easy way out. It was so hopeless and dark. And for the longest time, I couldn't hardly talk about it. But I believe God allowed me to go through that so that I could understand what people with depression and. Uh, people without God, how they feel, and be able to relate to them. Today, uh, you know, I have my own business. I uh, started my dream business in video and production and uh, photography, DJing, uh, sound engineering, recording. But there was a time when I had to give all that back to God. You know, I struggled with spending all this time and money and you know the market had changed after the second transplant and uh, just things, no matter what I did, it seemed like it just kept get, going nowhere. I was just throwing money away on advertising. You know, finally I realized, why am I fighting with God so much? All I really wanted to do was record music and to lead worship. And, you know, I have that opportunity in my church and in my home. And so I finally stepped back and I did that. And I started doing the things around the house that my wife wanted me to do. And I'm still struggling with this, but I know the game plan. I know what needs to be done. And it was after I started doing that that I started having the blessing of God in my business again. And... Uh, start getting the phone calls and but you know part of being real men is putting our priorities straight and making our wives feel important and our children feel important as musicians and pastors it's easy to put the music or the ministry first before our wives even before god we, we, it's easy to confuse the ministry with god and they're not necessarily the same thing yes god has called you and you need to uh, make a priority of his calling indeed and we need to get off our butts and do what god has called us to do um, but as a christian and as husbands are our, our, our first calling and part of putting god first is showing his love to our families and our wives and making them a priority Sing the joy of a new day. Live to Sing the Joy of a New Day is the album that I, I, I recorded here a few years ago.
you know, I don't always feel happy. I don't always feel joyous. There's days that I've been discouraged, especially in this last year of not being having the energy to do what I want and uh, not having the financial blessing that I wanted or the, the seeing the music go as far as I'd like to. But, you know, sorrow lasts only for a moment. The Bible says that joy comes in the morning. And we have the opportunity to praise God and to shine in amaze. That's where the real joy comes from. That's where the purpose comes from. And that's what being a real man is all about, really, is living for Jesus and setting an example for our kids, for our wives, and, and showing them what's important. And, you know, it's our trials and our struggles that really help form our faith and shape who we are. And through all this stuff of going through the liver transplants and uh, the struggles of that and my, my family living through that, it has given my children an unshakable foundation for their faith. And I, I would do it all over again if I had to. I would go through the sickness and the transplants and the pain just so that my kids could have that strong faith that they have because nothing is more important than that. You know, and I truly believe that God is forming them for something even bigger than I could possibly hope or dream for them. Set my feet upon this rock, and I will not be shaken. I live my um, you know, my own father, he lost his father at a young age. You know, that was one of the things I always struggled with. Why me? Why did I survive when so many don't? You know, we live in a, a sinful, dying world, and nothing's perfect. You know, it's only by grace that I'm still here. You know, two people had to die so that I could live. And three people, if you count Christ, who gives us eternal life, that's a very humbling, very humbling experience. I don't know what those people did in their lives, but I have the opportunity to make something of their lives and of my life because of what Christ did for me. Let's step up to the plate. If I can do this, if I can praise God in my circumstances and find some joy here. I think that's that's the story. I mean, you too can shine in a maze. It's not just me. Get out there and serve God, man, because <laughs> you don't know how good you have it because He is going to do some great things through you. Live to shine in a maze. God did allow me to suffer much strife, but it was for His glory. You know, I often wondered why did I have to go through this twice? Why, Lord? And you know, it, it seems that He told me that the first time was for me and my family, for the things that He brought out of that, the conditioning, the, the faith building, the, uh, the blessings that came out of it, the business and the disability that allowed me to stay home and, and work on my music. The second one was for, for others, for strengthening their faith and seeing the example that I lived through that and God's blessing and His healing and His miracles. You know, I was on dialysis for a month. No one goes on dialysis for a month and then stops without a transplant of kidneys. And you know, an impossible thing happened and God did that.
free.